Hey everyone, it's Morgan. So today I'm going to be doing a What's on My iPhone video. Uh, this video has been requested a couple of times, so I'm going to show you what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 6S in rose gold, and I have the OtterBox case, and I have this pop socket. So that's a, that's the I'm sensitive pop socket. So I'm just going to show you what's on my phone. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. If you want to see more videos, comment down below what your favorite app on your phone is, and let's just get started. Okay, so this is my phone. So let's just start at the front. And my wallpaper just have pictures of my cousins on here, and this was last Thanksgiving. So let's just get into it. So. I only have one page on my phone because I just feel like the apps are all more contained in one page instead of a bunch of different pages. So I just have basic apps up here like Messages or First because I use these all the time. Then I just have regular apps and I have my Notes app and you know all that fun stuff. So after all my apps, I have Utilities, which is just a folder that keeps you know the apps that I don't really use but I kind of still want to keep so I just have all that junk there and I use Google Maps a little bit um, it just helps me you know if I'm like trying to like you know get somewhere it just kind of helps and then I have the weather app which I use sometimes and I just have you know the reminders app and stuff so the next folder is lifestyle which has all the stuff that doesn't really have a category in it but it's just stuff I use all the time so I have my Starbucks app which I use um, when I go to Starbucks and then I have uh, my Audible app which I love Audible it's really good I love it um, you can listen to books and the voice the narrator's voice is so relaxing right now I'm reading Harry Potter um, so yeah the narrator's voice is so relaxing then I have Yelp because I Yelp everything I don't uh, I don't like going places without looking at a Yelp review, um, so it just can tell me spots by me. Then I have my Netflix app, just to watch Netflix, my Monogram app, which Monogram is my wallpaper, then the Sunshine app, which um, it kind of tells you like how it feels. Uh, it tells you like um, like what to wear, like you know how hot it will be like now and then. So it's really fun. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's everything that's in there, and then I have my travel folder, which has. All of my Disney apps in it, um, just the apps I use when traveling, so the Paws app, the Disney World app, the Disneyland app, and the Universal app. So these, this is just what I keep in there. Then I have my news app, which has my BuzzFeed app. Um, and I use BuzzFeed a lot because I like all the quizzes and I like kind of keeps me up to date on everything. And then I have just the news app. Then I have my music app, which has Shazam, which if you're listening to a song you, and you don't know what it is, you can just Shazam it and it'll listen to it and it'll tell you what song it is. Then I have my music app, my Apple Music app, which I don't use a lot, and I don't think I can delete it, but I have my Apple Music app, and it's just there. Then I have my Sonos app, which just connects to the speaker system in my house, and I have Spotify, and my Spotify app is awesome. I love it. It just has all, like, my favorite songs on it. Uh, I can just keep it all here, and I can listen to any song I want, and I know people are like Team Apple Music or Team Spotify. I personally like Spotify better, but, you know, that's probably because I've just been using it for a while, so... Yeah, and then I have my photography app, which has all of my apps for Instagram. So I have Boomerang, and then I have UNUM, which is basically you can see your Instagram feed um, without having to, you can add a photo and you can see how it looks on your Instagram feed if you have a theme or something. Then I have Visco, which is updated, I have to open it. Um, then I have Hyperlapse, which is an app that lets you take videos and it's like, here, you want to see the camera? <laughs> uh, Hi, <laughs> and it just lets you take videos, and it's really still, and it's it's really great. And then I have the layout app, which is um, it just helps. And if you just want to um, include more than one photo, you can use the layout app. And then I have another folder, which is the relax folder. And I don't know why this is in there, but I have a Christmas countdown app because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, so yeah, I have the Christmas countdown app, and I like that app. And then I have. The Candle app, which I don't really know why I have this on here. Then I have Relax Melodies, which is an app that basically you can listen to the songs and it'll help you fall asleep. It's really nice. It's like a bunch of different little melodies. And then I have my games, which I don't have a lot of games, but I have the Best Fiends app, which is really fun. Um, my dad beats me on it, so I kind of stop playing it. But I play it sometimes on a board. I have my Bitmoji app. Heads up, which I play in line at Disney, and if you're at Disney, you can actually get like a Disney trivia game based on your location. So I play Heads Up like in line for Disney. Block Hexa because that's just really fun when you're bored. And Papa's Freezeria because I'm four years old and I like making, you know, smoothies. And then I just have my social media app, have my Snapchat, my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Pinterest, my YouTube Studio, which is just a YouTube app for creators, and then I have my Musical.ly, which I don't actually use at all, but I just kind of have it there. Um, and then this app is my school app, which I keep Google Docs, which has my school documents and my drive, which just has my documents and drive, and then I have my PowerSchool, which shows me all my grades, 
And then down here I have all my little apps, like my settings, uh, my phone, my mail, my Safari, just so there's, I use them a lot, a little more often, so they're just right there, and that is everything that is on my phone. Um, so this is my case, it's just an OtterBox case, and I have an OtterBox case because I'm super clumsy, and then on the back here I have my pop socket, which is just the I'm sensitive pop socket, and it's really nice, and it kind of goes with everything, I like the pink, and it looks like a henna. Uh, so yeah, and then my iPhone is rose gold and it's a 6S, it's just a regular 6S, and that's everything that's on my phone. Okay, so I probably think, I think this is the first review I've ever done on my channel, so I'm just gonna be telling what, you what I think about the new iPhone. If you don't know yet, Apple introduced the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X. Um, you can pre-order them and the iPhone 8 starts at $6.99, and then the iPhone X starts at $9.99, which is super pricey for a phone, which I think is ridiculous, but so I'm just going to be talking about the 8. So the 8, it has like a glass back, which is kind of cool. And because of that, you can do like the wireless charging thing. And the wireless charge is like another $100, like $100 so you know, whatever. But you can do the wireless charging if you have one. Um, and it's like the same design as the 7, except for the glass back. Like the camera on the regular one is the same as the 7. The camera on the bigger one is the same as the 7. So it's not really that different. Um, it comes with the iOS 11, obviously. It is water resistant and dust, which means if you like drop your phone in like a puddle, it's not gonna do anything. It has better color, so for like the camera, it has all that stuff, which I mean, I don't really, I mean, I care about it, but it's not really like a factor for me if I get a phone, but you know, yeah. So that's basically everything for the eight. It's pretty cool, I like the glass back on it. Um, so now let's check out the iPhone X. So the iPhone X is all screen. There's no buttons on it. So it's all screen, it kind of looks like a Samsung. Um, it has face recognition, which I think is kind of cool. You can put your face up to your phone and be like, it has cool new wallpapers. I'm always excited about the wall. <laughs> when I get a new phone, I want to see what the wallpapers are, like the new wallpapers, because I think they're kind of cool. The only thing I don't like about it is it comes in black and silver. That's all the colors it comes in. I mean, obviously you can put a case on it, but still, I kind of like the rose gold, but I actually might want a silver or black phone if I get a new one, because um, I just think it'll look better with cases, because, you know, the, the gold isn't particularly like, I mean, it's nice, but it doesn't really like, look good with all colors of cases, you know, I feel like the silver would be like nice. And I kind of want a leather apple case, like, I want a, um, what's the color, I don't know, I want like the, just the kind of brown leather apple case, because I think that looks so cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a new iPhone because, you know, I just got this for Christmas last year, and I got a new phone for the Christmas before, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to get that. But, you know, maybe for my birthday, but I really want the iPhone 8 Plus in like probably like the silver color because I think the silver is really cool. And I really want that brown leather case. And the accessories look so cool. Oh, I forgot to mention the iPhone X has a ca vertical camera. It does not have a horizontal camera. So the camera is vertical. Isn't that cool? And then like the flash is in the center. Am I the only one that's excited about that? I, maybe I am. Um, yeah, but I think that's kind of cool. It's vertical, you know, it's fancy. Uh, I, I've heard a bunch of rumors, like you know on Snapchat when there's like those little Discover stories, I've seen a bunch of the things that says the camera's gonna be vertical. So I wanna know, are you guys going to get the new iPhone? Are you, are you guys interested? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like want, do you like the older ones better? And what do you think the next iPhone's gonna look like? Do you think it's gonna look like more like a Samsung or do you think it's gonna look like super ridiculous and high tech, you know? Cause I feel like this is all the how as far as they can go with the new iPhone. So my final thoughts are, I like the eight, I think the 8 is great. The X is a little out there, but I think it's fine. Some people hate it, some people like it. I I like it, I don't love it. Uh, yeah, so make sure you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, and subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos. And tell me if you like these review videos in the comments, a review of the iPhones. I can do like movies and TV shows and you know makeup brands and whatever, because if you guys wanna see it, I will do it. Uh, and I'll see y'all next time, bye.